Hey guys, Mike here. Well, I'm at my dad's building, and I thought I would explain a little bit about the dry cooler, the chiller, and those units. So obviously you know, this is a chiller, has compressors, got a water temperature. 50, I don't know if this, I don't know which, these are actually not labeled, believe it or not, which ones return and supply. But whatever ones. I don't think it's running. It's not running right now. No, it's not running. As you know, typical chiller. These are also chillers. These are for the doctor's office downstairs for their MRI equipment and such. Now, it's extremely stupid. As I pointed out in two videos before I've done up here, they should have put a hood like this on this to direct the air up. Now, I know it would have been stupid access-wise because you would have had to get in here. This is right here. This never works. I think this is an exhaust fan from the doctor's office or it's an inducer fan for the boiler. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah. Now, that's going right into that, into the condenser coil. This is going to run under high head pressure now. Now, I got this one. Blowing back out. Real hot air. Going right into the chiller. That's lovely. Now... I doubt they could have done it, but maybe they could have stacked these up. It's possible. Um, they had plenty. <laughs> they had plenty of room on the other side of this dry cooler to put these units. So that's the story here. And that's an inducer from one of the chimneys. Some chimneys there from the apartments. Far, these apartments have fireplaces in them. Now let me explain the dry cooler to you. Which is right here. The company has to come clean the coils, as you can see. They're matted. As you pumps, the system has dry, dry uh, glycol in it. So what dry cooler is? It's basically the same thing as a cooling tower in a way because it's on your condenser water loop and it's taking the heat out. The only difference is closed loop, coils, fans. It's not like a cooling tower where your condenser water loop is exposed to the air and is um, always evaporating and you have a, a water makeup. Is this more efficient? I'm not entirely sure, but to me, I would say it is because you're obviously not wasting gallons and gallons of water. It's in a closed loop. Would this be ideal for a big commercial building? I don't know. I don't think so. I think you, uh, because you know how big this would have to be? I mean, look, this thing takes up most of the roof as it is. This is only for a seven story building. Our building only has seven apartments, including the doctor's office. But it's perfect for something like this, I guess you could say. But that's, that's basically it. It's just a closed condenser water loop. This building has water source heat pumps. Excuse me, just water source units and not heat pumps. This building has hot water radiators for heat. But, that's your dry cooler, it's your pump, your main pump running, <coughs> you got back up. And I mean, that's it, I, I don't see anywhere where you would be adding your dry, uh, your glycol though. I've looked, you have some expansion tanks and stuff, so that's about it. But yeah, so, that's basically a dry cooler, just closed loop. Takes heat out of the water, but watch out with these. We had to spray water on the bottom of it last summer. It got so hot, some of our units went on a high head pressure safety in the building. So we were getting a return water temperature like 86 degrees, and uh, supply water going to the dry coil like 95. So we sprayed the coil down, brought it down to like 75, coming back. Helped out a lot, but that's what we had to do here. Insulation's getting kind of fucked up. Oh well. Yeah, it's, that's a dry cooler for you. Emin, if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with these. Give any uh, in, more info on it, insight. I'm pretty sure everything I said is absolutely correct, but you let me know. Because I'm pretty sure you've worked on these. But pretty simple. Very simple to understand. Just close the loop. So yeah. Alright guys.
Thanks for watching. Mike out.